Our last presentation tonight comes in the team category as we now honor our football team from 1987. The seeds for success in 1987 were planted a few years before with an influx of young, talented players joining the program. Evidence of the quality of the roster became clear in 1986 when the Mavericks won six of their last seven games. Later, it was obvious that this was a portent of things to come. With 13 returning starters and depth on both sides of the ball, the outlook for the 87 squad was bright. I think this was a great bunch of young men that pulled things together faster than we thought they could, said Dan Runkle, who coached the team. Many of these guys were kids who had been in the program for four or five years, and they helped us fulfill a dream in building the program. We were solid on both sides of the ball and mentally tough. Led by the one-two punch at quarterback of Greg Vonderlippe and Mike McDivitt, a core of running backs featuring the likes of Dave Schofield, Tony Jones, Marty Kelly, Jimmy Taylor, and Frank Essien, and an offensive line led by Scott Anikstead and Dwayne Goldhammer. The Mavericks boasted an option-oriented attack that ranked with the top rushing offenses in the country. A good mix of veterans and newcomers were the key to a bend-but-not-break defense. Sophomore linebacker J.R. Buckley, senior Dusty Johnson, and Daryl Wills were the top tacklers. They were all athletic and driven. All of this led to a monumental season, one that included the program's first North Central Conference title, the first team to win nine games in a season, the first team to appear in a top-20 poll, the first team to rush for more than 3,000 yards, and the first team to appear in the NCAA postseason. Tonight, gentlemen, you walk together again. Please join us as we welcome the MSU football team from 1987 into the MSU Athletics Hall of Fame in our team category.